Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. This problem that says the cantilever footing is used to support a wall near its edge at A so that it causes a uniform soil pressure under the footing. Determine the uniform distribution loads WA and WB measured in foot pounds at pads A and B necessary to support the wall forces of 8,000 pounds and 20,000 pounds. So let's get to it. Now you know that a distributed load and actually let me no, let's just do it like this. Yeah, I'm going to make this uh, a little bit transparent, make it easy to understand. You know that a distributed load makes a force equivalent at the center. I'm going to call this FB. And you know that FB is equal to WB, which is what we're trying to find, times the length of that distributed load, which is in this case is 3 feet. And same thing for A. Right at the middle, because it's a rectangular distributed load, we're going to call this F of A. And F of A is equal to WA times 2 feet, because it's the, the distributed load on F of A is applied over 2 feet instead of over 3 feet, like the second one. Now, ignoring the distributed load, because we basically what we did is replace them with equivalent forces and the 20 the 20k pound forces and the 8,000 uh, pound force. Now we can we can determine all the forces and eventually find the distributed loads. So let's get to it. I'm gonna call this point. I'm gonna call this point C because A is supposedly right here. So I don't want to confuse you with that. So I'm gonna call that point C, and I'm gonna say that. sum of the moments around C is equal to zero, assuming counterclockwise is positive. Now, why am I doing this point? Because look, we have to find F of A and F of B. Should be pretty easy. So I got to basically pick some of the moments at one or the other to find the other. So I'm picking some of the moments that where F of A is applied to eliminate it and find F of B. You could have done the same thing with F of B, but let's just do this one. So that being said, some of the moments at point C is equal to zero and is equal to the moment created by F of B, which is F of B is going straight up and it's the distance between the vertical distance between C and the point where F of B is being applied. That distance is one foot because it's applied at, at the half point of this feet, the eight feet, and then one and a half, which is the half point of the three feet. So that is equal to 10.5, 10.5 feet. Then we have the 8,000 pound force, which is, I'm gonna call it 8K. So I'm just gonna write 8K times the same distance because it's 10.5, it's right at the one and a half point between it. And it's negative because it's trying to turn it, the unit clockwise unlike the other one which is positive which is trying to turn it counterclockwise and the last one is the 20k force which is trying to turn this lever right here and it is 20k times if this is one this is one but this is being applied at 0.25 so that's 0.75 and it is positive because it's trying to turn the unit counterclockwise. So yeah, we have all, all the, we have our equation and the only variable that we have here is f of b. So if you do some basic math and solve for f of b, you're gonna get that f of b is equal to 6.57 keep. Now notice that I changed the 8,000 to 8k and the 20,000 to 20k to make the numbers a little bit smaller and simpler. Now, some of the forces at y will help me find the help me find the other force, and you know that f of a plus f of b minus 20k minus 8k is equal to zero. Um, we already have f of b, 
and if we solve for f of a we get f of a is equal to 20k plus 8k minus f of b f of a is equal to 21.43 kip two for two now very easy to find w a and w b from here because you know that f of a is equal to w a times the distance that is being applied at which is uh, for the case of a was two feet so f of a is equal to 21.43 kip w a is equal to w a because we're trying to find it times two so w a is equal to 10.71 kip per foot or this could also be exp you could uh, multiply by a thousand if you don't like that and then just do zero uh, seven one zero pounds per foot same thing for wb i mean sorry for yeah for wb which is f of b is equal to wb times but look this is three feet this is not two feet because this is being applied over a bigger uh bigger length f of b is equal to 6.57 keep which is equal to wb times three so wb is equal to 6.57 keep over 3 feet which is equal to 2.19 keep per foot or 2190 pounds per foot Final answer for WB and final answer for WA.